Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on a new TV series called Chucky. Yes, it's going to be the Chucky TV series based on the popular movies about uh, the doll that came to life and murdered people. Uh, in this case, it's uh, about a high school kid who's into retro toys who buys a Chucky, or buys the Chucky, I should say. And of course, Chucky starts killing people. He doesn't have any batteries. He, you know, he realizes it. He becomes his friend that makes him uh, braver, right? He's and, and so, starts to solve all his problems. Of course, eventually he just starts killing people and makes the problems even worse. This looks similar to the Norman Bates TV series. Joan, jeez, what is your problem? I'm rousing a lot. I'm trying to do this thing. Are you happy? Happy now? Shut up. Um. So, I mean, if you're into Chucky, I'm sure it'll be a fun thing. It doesn't look it doesn't look poorly produced or anything. It just looks weird. It, it, it's like having a little serial killer living in your house. And even in the trailer, it goes, I'll say, pretty far in, that, in the concept. <laughs> right? It's basically uh, very similar to a lot of shows. It's like the devil on your shoulder kind of thing. See if I can find this shot. It's a pretty funny shot. See, the devil on your shoulder. Like, the devil can give you some good things, right? So, here he gets up on stage, and Chucky's going to tell some jokes and make him look like a popular guy. But in the end, Chucky just wants to kill people, right? So, it's about the corruption from Chucky. So, this is a TV series, so it's not a three-act breakdown. But this is, this is what you'll get over the course of the series. At first, he'll kill... People that bother this kid, you know, the bully and, you know, but eventually it gets, you know, the, the, I think he's got an abusive father and then, you know, eventually other people abuse him, but eventually they run out of people and Chucky kicks it up to the girl who likes him and maybe his sister or whatever. So can you sustain this? Not really. You probably do a season, right? You could probably do a season of this. In the end, it always ends up the same, right? The kid turns against Chucky and then tries to kill Chucky, and either he kills Chucky or Chucky kills him. Probably the kid kills Chucky. But then later, Chucky somehow regenerates and shows up again in another toy or whatever. Uh, it, it looks well-produced, I'll say that. If you're a fan of Chucky, you'll probably like it, at least for the first season. I don't think you can keep doing this show. <laughs> I just, you know, this is like a hand-me-down franchise, right? They did as many movies as they could when it was popular. Then they revived it. Now they're like, okay, let's sell it to Sci-Fi and USA. And uh, let them do a TV show based on it. Yeah, as people still like it. That's what they do. It's product to these guys, I think. So if you're looking for something super and cool, yeah, it might be cool for a few seasons. Somebody might even make a good idea out of it and you know, expand the world somehow. It'd be tough, but you'd probably do it. I mean, they did have the female Chucky, right? Meg Tilly. I don't know if she's going to be in it. It'd be funny if she, they brought her back. Um, you know, for me personally, eh, I'm not that into Chucky. I mean, it was a funny concept. I think I saw the first movie, the original first movie. Um, but, you know, it's pretty simple. It's that episode of The Simpsons where the crusty doll tries to kill Homer, right? That's what it is, just writ large. So Chucky comes to... Sci-Fi in USA, October 12th. October 12th. Yeah, just in time for Halloween. It might be a fun, you know, Halloween binge thing. Um, you know, it's got some funny lines in it. It's not It's not bad. I, I, I can't say it's awful. I'm not going to upvote it, but it's not bad. It's all right. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking for something that's pretty brainless, uh, I think you could do a lot worse. So, Chucky. Uh, and that's it for this video. Check us out on BitChute and Rumble for our other two videos, right, Joe? Where we uh, talk about things we can't talk about on YouTube.